Well, Tuesday morning, we're at the Werribee International Horse Centre. We're catching up with Charlie Henson about Team Kumani, and we've seen Managar and Drunken Sailor work this morning. Tell us about that. Yeah, good. Um, happy. I've definitely improved on the other day. Um, and, no, happy, basically, with the way it went. What were the instructions hitting out there? Uh, basically, the lead pony, old safety car, as we now call him. Uh, he, he used to set off a, a decent gallop, and then the other two to join at the back half of the bend and, and then quicken together to keep them up to their work, which is basically what you saw. Saw Managar, impressive to the line. We always know about Drunken Sailor that um, you know, he doesn't give it his all on the track. Yeah, he, but he's actually galloping OK at the moment, whether that's freshness or, or whether he's just in great form. You know, Hopefully it's the, the latter, but we'll see. Talk about freshness, Managar. He didn't quite want to start off there. No, I know. <laughs> he's, he, trouble is with him, he, he's quite soft in, in that respect, and you don't want to obviously give him too much encouragement. Um, and the, the idea with him is that you really need to keep him fresh and happy. So as long as he doesn't get out of control, then hopefully he'll stay all right. All right, let's look to the Caulfield Cup on Saturday. Managar, was a good run last year, in it? How do you weigh up the horse you've got 12 months on? Uh, stronger. Um, he's probably a little bit more of a staying type this year. Um, um, but we, you know, at the end of the day, sort of, this call for the cup is a little bit boring. Coming out saying a fast, fi- fast finishing fifth every year. So we're hoping that we're going to have him sort of up there, in no worse than mid division, and and make use of him um, and and kick on with that. Do you think he's going to be better suited for a Melbourne Cup or a Caulfield Cup? Yeah, probably. I suppose the track, the track will suit him better at Flemington. But um, look, we'll see. He seems to be in good form at the moment, though. What about Drunken Sailor? We didn't get to see the best of him last year, but he's a better, t- better horse 12 months on. Yeah, definitely on the track in, in England. He's been um, outstanding, really, for him this year. Um, and, uh, you know, going to Caulfield, he's a horse that really needs a fight and, and a hustle and bustle and up the straight. So, uh, he, you know, likewise with him, hopefully he, he gets some cover and then comes you know, through, through horses in the straight. Would you like to see these horses draw tomorrow? No worse than half, what, half, you know, if it was it 16 runners or 18, 18 yeah. runners, so no worse than nine, ideally. Okay. Um, and, and where would you like to see Drunken Sailor settle then? You said Managar, sort of mid, mid-division? Yeah, ideally with Drunken Sailor as well, you wouldn't want him than any worse than mid-div, just because the way that Caulfield Cup's always run is it normally ends up being a little bit of a sprint affair and straight. Um, and, you know, as I said, with Drunken Sailor, he needs a, needs a bit of an argument with another horse. Have you had a chance to size up any of the Aussie form as yet going into the race? Yeah, obviously, um, the favourite is probably the one to beat, but um, he's, he's improved no end since coming from England. Um, but it's the Caulfield Cup, but, you know, invariably not really a European mile-and-a-half horse is going to be at its you know, be, be at his best uh, at Caulfield, but so we'll see. What about the other horses, Bauer and Sahara Sun? Ran on the weekend. What are their future plans? Uh, they're in good form. They've come out of the race, um, thank God, in, in fine fettle. And Bauer goes at the moment to the Geelong Cup, which is obviously week Wednesday. And Sahara Sun, he's probably going to be Bendigo Cup bound. Um, but, like you know, it's only two days off the race, so we'll just see how they go and, and make a plan. What do you make of their runs? Uh, frustrating with Bauer. Uh, he was never in a position where he was going to be able to figure in the finish. He was third and fourth, sort of fra- faster fractions, finishing from the eight to, to the finish line. Um, yeah, come out of it frustrated, I'm afraid. But at the same time, you know, we have to move onwards and upwards. Sahara Sun, you know, things didn't really fall right. He was a little bit silly going down to post um, and then ran a back bit keen down to post so you can sort of understand with Stephen he didn't want to set him alight and have him running too keen he wasn't too bad in the race um, but he, he needs a mile and a half and he needs a wind up rather than a, an instant turn of foot Good luck with tomorrow's draw Brilliant, thanks very much <laughs> There we go, Charlie Henson talking about this morning's track work here at Werribee